Hello, this is Dr. Dan. In this video, I am going to show you how to transfer data from an Excel spreadsheet to Jamovi. In other videos, I have previously explained how to screen and clean your data and, and get it nicely organized before you move it to whether it be Jamovi or SPSS or any other statistical software. It's, it, now you are going to learn why this is important, such as just as a review, properly labeling each item. Here, some of these have been even color coded. Uh, perhaps putting your scale on the spreadsheet and even, even the item descriptions if you need to use those. Now, what we are going to do is we will first open up Jamovi. And so here we have just a, a, a blank, blank file. We will go over to our spreadsheet and what we want to copy over is not just the data but also these labels on the top so I, I won't do everything so let me just capture some what I will do is I'll just go ahead and press copy and then we will go ahead and move over to our Jomovi file and now I can paste now what will happen is it's going to move your numeric data over and as well as your labels for each of the items. Here's where this becomes especially important. We know that this first row is WRB1. Uh, later on, we are going to need to know, you know, let's say we do a Chromebox Alpha analysis, we, we need to analyze each one of those, those items. We will know which one belongs to which factor. So now let's go ahead and we will click I did a double click on the letter A, and this is where we set this up. You can be as detailed as you'd like to be. At times, I will actually, I'll actually write the term. So let's say it's burnout and it's emotional exhaustion. I may write emotional exhaustion in there rather than EE1. So that way it's more descriptive. If we want, we can also include that in, the, in this description box, which will not apply to the output of our statistical analysis, but at least it'll be a reminder for what this is. In this case, this is work-related bullying, WRB. Now, rather than A, we want WRB1. We also need to know what kind of variable this is. That is where the spreadsheet may come in handy. So over here, we see it's a Likert scale. So we can go ahead and label this either ordinal or continuous. There's debate out there where you could actually label this continuous. In this case, let's, let's go ahead and, and submit it as an ordinal variable. And then we don't want text. We actually want the uh, numeric data. So we are going to insert decimal. And then that one's done. Now we move over to the next one. And we are one more example here. We will now label this one PRB1, which is something like um, person-related bullying. That may, not, that may not be right, I don't remember, but I believe that's correct. Uh, we'll again change this to ordinal variable and to decimal. We will continue along, and there may be variables that are grouping variables uh, that are not ordinal, maybe they're nominal variables, such as gender. There may be continuous variables, such as age, where they actually enter their age. There may be times when, if we do have categorical variables like gender, we can actually, and I'll just kind of show you this as an example right here, we could actually, it'd be a nominal variable, and we want text in here, so we could actually label male, female, other, what have you in these levels. And then that's that's very important because then when you do your analysis later on, it will actually show those labels. And, and then in that case, I would probably, for the variable descriptor up here, I would put maybe like gender. Uh, when you are finally completed setting all these variables up, then we are going, we would basically go ahead and in this case, I'll, I'll right click and I want to delete that entire row because now we just need our data. So we deleted the entire row and our data set would be now set up. I hope you found this video helpful and I do wish you a happy 
and blessed day.